Hello guys, back with the crazy hair today. Yo, it's uh me. I'm about to go on vacation. That's why my bed's a mess. Um, but I thought I'd show you a little bit of book mail. I might get some book mail tomorrow, but I'm not sure. Um, I have a package that was supposed to come today, but it didn't get delivered today. And and tomorrow I'm going on vacation, so I'm not sure if the mail will arrive before I go to the airport which I need to go around 11 o'clock so and the mail is sometimes here before 11 so there's a strong possibility I might get some mail tomorrow but the possibility is pr is not improbable it's not improbable but it's not probable you know what I'm saying so anyways um I'm gonna show you what I got today and then we will talk about a little bit of this. but today I got the wind in my heart by Douglas Wynn now this one just sounds right up my alley, and I'll read the synopsis and you'll probably see why. So here we go. Milo's laundry is trying to put violence behind him when he takes up work as a private detective focused on humdrum adultery cases. But when a... Uh, <laughs> I'm going to jack this up. Tibetan monk hires him to find a missing person, things get weird fast. Charged with tracking down the reincarnation of a man possessed by a demonic guardian from the Tibetan, Tibetan, oh that's what it is, Tibetan uh, book of the dead, Miles is plunged into a world of fortune tellers, gangsters, and tra uh, tantric rituals. The year is 1991 and a series of grisly murders has rocked New York City in the run up to a visit from the Dalai Lama. The police attribute... The killings to Chinatown gang warfare. Miles, skeptical of the supernatural, is inclined to agree. But what if the monster he's hunting is more than a myth? And this is from Crystal Lake Publishing, and uh, I don't know anything about Crystal Lake Publishing. I don't think I've ever read a book by them. So this is going to probably be my first. Um, and I think it's going to be a good one. Um, I don't know anything about the writer, or author I should say. I just know about this book. This book comes in at 163 pages, I think. 163 pages, yeah. So, you know, very quick read. Um, this novel is probably going to be a fun, you know, fun little read. I don't know when I'm going to start it. But I have a few detective-like stories that have a little bit of horror in them. I got this one, and I got one by Larry Barron, I think his name is. Um, uh, that one sounds interesting, too. So I'm packing, I'm starting to gather a bunch of detective horror stories, you know, or detective stories with horror elements into it. Or true crime cases, or whatever you want to call them. I, they're not true ca crime, because this isn't true crime. But uh, you know what I'm saying, I hope. If you don't, then uh, my bad. But um, yeah, this is The Wind, Through my, the wind in My Heart by Douglas Wynn. And, yeah, so, you guys want to know what I'm reading, it's the same as the days before, it's Benny Rose and the Cannibal King. This book is great so far, I'm on page 80, so there's, I'm on page 80 and there's like 159 pages in this, I think, yeah, 159 pages in this, so I'm almost to the halfway point, let's see here, 80 plus 80 is 160, so I'm like at the halfway point, um, I'm really enjoying this book. I am getting a. I did have a little t hard time trying to understand what was going on in one chapter, but I I attribute it to it not being in a like place that floods a lot. Um, I have uh gone through a big puddle before with my car, and uh totally sunk it, and uh it just was totaled after that. So, hearing about this car go underwater, I was like, oh, they're screwed. <laughs> Sorry if that's a little bit of a spoiler. But, um, yeah, um, I'm really enjoying this story. And, uh, yeah, it's it's a really good one. So, yeah, Haley Piper is a really good writer, y'all. Um, I can't wait to review this book when I get around to it. But I'm going on vacation, so who knows how much time I'm going to have to read. Um, I may have no time. I may have a lot of time. I know I'll have some time on the airplane if I'm not listening to music or something. So, yeah. But um, I plan to listen to an audiobook while I'm on the airplane and just do stuff on my phone, you know, or just relax. I don't know. 
I'm not good on airplanes, but I'm really not good at airports. Uh, so wish me luck on airports. Uh, I, I, I just panic at airports, you know. There's just so many people and everyone's trying to figure out where they're going and they don't care where everyone else is going. So you get bumped and bumped and bumped and it's just, not, I don't like being touched. So um, at least not by strangers. I think everyone can uh, apt that, I guess. Um, but yeah, um, it's it's been a good day so far today. Um, nothing really ha happened today. Um, I got my clothes for tomorrow, I packed a suitcase, and, uh, I might get a haircut before I leave. I don't know, I really need one. I kind of need to shave, too, so if I get a haircut, I'm definitely shaving. But, uh, yeah, um, I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you have a spooky night, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out. Oh, one more thing. I'm so happy the Packers lost. I'm not a big football guy, but, you know, um... I do not like the Packers, so watching Tom Brady beat the Packers was just awesome. So I'm sorry to all my uh, Wisconsin fans out there, or not Wisconsin, but uh, Green Bay fans out there. Um, they lost, so I'm sorry. But, uh, you know, it's good because I don't want, I hate when the Packers gloat about how many Super Bowls they have, and it's like, whatever. They always say Aaron Rodgers is like the best, and I don't think, I think he's overrated. Um, yeah, he his defense got three interceptions. Yet he's still lost. You know what I'm saying? He's just overrated, man. But anyways, I hope you guys are having a great day. I already said the outro, so I'm going to just say peace out. So peace out, guys.